common request we see on the Dunwell help desk is that a customer is doing work to their network and they want to renumber their phone system. It's very easy to change the IP address of your phone system, but there are other consequences that you need to consider, especially in an IP based system like this. If you're changing the IP address, you need to make sure that any DHCP scopes that you're using are updated as well. So if you're using option 43 or option 127, then you'll need to make sure that your server and TFTP IP addresses are updated to reflect the new change. So, once that's said, the actual work is done uh, using the uh, system administration software and it's done under system and IP settings and you can see that the system will report and this is an out of the box configuration that by default the processor will try and get an IP address by DHCP now this is not what you want in most installation scenarios so we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn that off. Once that's turned off, you'll see that some options become available to you. These are the static processor module IP address, subnet mask and gateway, and they should all be set accordingly. In our example, we're going to change these. So single click and then right click and you'll see this box appear and then enter your new IP address such as and then press OK. You'll notice that above where it says current processor IP address you'll see that the change has not been reflected this is because any change to the IP address requires a reboot of the Mitel system. Once the system has been rebooted, the current module IP address will update. You'll also need to update your static module gateway and your subnet mask as appropriate. This is all you really need to know to change the IP address of your Mitel 5000 phone system. But if you need any more information, then please don't hesitate to get in touch with us.